Hi, I'm Heather Perry. I work at Beer Bar. I manage and bartend here, and today we are filming on how to pour beer at Beer Bar. A lot of these beers that I'm going to tell you about today are beers that you can find pretty much around the world, but you can also find some great local favorites that are very similar. Um, I'll get started. The first one is the Radeberger Pilsner. It's brewed in Germany. It's really um, nice, light, and crisp. Um, it's actually brewed to store at a lower temperature and lasts about longer than most other beers. So what you want to do is also just hold the glass at a 45 degree angle. You never want to touch the, the bottle or the can to the glass. That's just that's what you're not supposed to do. And you slowly pour it in. Tip it up at the very end and you are left with a good amount of head. And then the next one is the Francis Connor Weiss beer. That is a German Hefeweizen pretty much, which is brewed and it smells a lot like banana and clove and you get a nice, uh, pretty good amount of head on there and it um, has a lot of nice body fill to it, like mouth fill. It's also a really nice one. 45 degree angle. Now the only difference with pouring Weiss beer and a Pilsner is closer to the end you're going to want to stop pouring when you get about right to here and you want to swirl the bottle and get all the excess bottom out, all the good stuff at the bottom. Just tip it again, slow a little or pour a little bit slower. Your Weiss beer. Third one I'm talking about is Guinness, which we're all very familiar with. Um, also brewed in over in um, Ireland. Um, it's going to be poured on nitro, even though it is not on draft. It still is poured out on nitro in a can, and it um, makes it so it's all aerated. When I say nitro, it's all aerated and nice and fluffy. Gives it a, um, a nice cascading head, and then you also get that large head that you want on a beer. Um, with a lot of body, real dark, malty. You're not going to get any hops in this one. Now, let's rinse the glass out with the Guinness here. The only difference with this Guinness um, that's different between like other nitros that you're going to pour is that this one is a nitro, so you want to pour hard. So, open this, rinse out your glass, pour hard. And as it pours, you can see the cascading head right here. That's all of it, just all, that's the nitro kicking in. The little ball inside that makes it just pour perfect. There you go. And as this goes up, you can see the head kind of getting larger and the clearing up a little bit. Duvel is the fourth one I'm going to be talking about, and Duvel is very famous around the world. It's one of the oldest breweries um, in the world. They actually brew it to have one of the biggest heads that you're ever going to get. It's about, about two to four inches when you pour it out, and it slowly dissipates. Usually it doesn't even dissipate all the way. Um, you're going to get a lot of uh, yeasty flavors in this one, kind of like a horse blanket almost, a little farmhouse-y. Um, crisp, but you still get a lot of body in there. It's almost uh, a little chewy. So with Duvel, like I said, it is brewed to have a very large head. Um, they put specific yeast in there to make it just really foam up there. Um, a lot of the beers that you'll get here that are local are not going to have this much of a head. This one will only pour about half a bottle and then you got your... Thanks for joining me. Come to Beer Bar to get any of these beers that you just saw me pour. Um, also come in and get some of your local favorites that we can talk to you about. Uh, Beer Bar is great.